This is a kitchen renovation completed in a small space at the center of an antique home. It ties together all the rooms on the first floor, bringing in much more natural light and creating much better sight lines and traffic flow throughout the home. The design of the new kitchen fits well in an antique home using materials and classic design elements appropriate to the scale and style. Yet it adds state-of-the-art appliances and many space-saving features that meet the needs of demanding cooks. An interesting feature of this project is an interior skylight that brings more daylight down into the center of the house. You can see that this is nestled into the ceiling between some of the old floor joists. And it's directly underneath a skylight on the roof of the house up above. This renovation not only brings in light from every direction, but also opens up sight lines and walkways around the entire first floor of the home. Before the renovation, the kitchen was more cut off from the front of the house. This made it feel dark and cramped. The appliances in the cabinets were dated. Counter space was quite limited and the countertops themselves were very dark. Now, that small doorway has been expanded into a large cased opening, bringing in light from the windows at the front of the house. The old kitchen sink faced a cabinet and a wall and offered very little counter space. Now, the sink has been repositioned underneath this arched window looking into the side garden. There's a much wider marble countertop here and a built-in dishwasher on the right and a pull-out trash container to the left, creating a great workstation for cleanup. Notice the copper sink, the vintage style brass tap, the antique brass cabinet pulls, and the blown glass light fixture overhead. All of these elements, along with the marble surface, really help this cabinet fit in. In the old kitchen, there was a gas range with built-in downdraft ventilation instead of a hood. The bar height countertop opened up into the living room. Now, a new oven and induction cooktop are installed along the back wall with great overhead ventilation and lighting overhead. In the old kitchen, there is a narrow doorway into the center hallway. This has been expanded into a wide cased opening that makes it much easier to navigate in and out of the kitchen. It also brings down much more daylight from the skylight above the stairwell. In the old kitchen, there were bar stools facing into the galley kitchen. This was a nice feature, but it blocked access from the kitchen and daylight from the side windows. Now, the bar that was cutting the house in half is gone. Walkways and sight lines are opened up. A new breakfast bar was added with stools that looks out onto the side garden. Before the renovation, there was just a small doorway in the front room that dead ended into the kitchen. Now, a large cased opening takes you from the front room into the kitchen. 
you can walk straight through to the back of the house and out onto the patio. A large center island is now the focal point of the kitchen. It's designed to look like an old-fashioned kitchen work table. This design provides a lot of storage and great counter space. It also conceals appliances, such as a mixer, a food processor, and even a microwave oven. The overhead light fixtures above the island are in hand-blown clear glass. This does a nice job preserving sight lines across the kitchen and into the adjacent rooms. Now let's take a look back at the renovation process. During the renovation, the kitchen was closed off with temporary walls. Key appliances, like the refrigerator and range, were shifted into an adjacent room where they could be used during the renovation. Once the work area was sealed off, we could get to work removing all the interior walls and floors and expanding those small doorways into large cased openings. There's a double width brick wall between the front room and the kitchen that we strengthened with a steel beam so it could be opened up for the renovation. The original beams from the 1830s supporting the doorway were saved for making the breakfast bar. The ceiling was opened up so that ductwork for the new ventilation hood could be hidden between the joists and vented outside. The sash from the original arched window was removed and restored. All this work took place behind the temporary wall while life went on in the rest of the house. Before the renovation, the kitchen floor was covered in tile on top of subflooring, but it was squeaky and uneven. We wanted to rebuild it from the original oak beams up and replace all of it with reclaimed heart pine boards, just like we have in the rest of the house. After leveling the floor, it was covered with three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood subflooring attached to the oak frame with screws and construction adhesive. The finished floor is reclaimed heart pine that now runs seamlessly from the front room into the kitchen. It's one of the most beautiful features of the renovation and works perfectly. With the new floors and walls in place, we could install the cabinets that had been built off site. Here you can see there's a base cabinet to hold the oven and cooktop another base cabinet to hold the sink, dishwasher, and pull-out garbage can. The new breakfast bar rests on two corbels that are attached to the window casing. The bar itself just floats in front of the window. Each leg of the island table rests on a mounting pin in the floor. Wiring for the outlets in the island travels up from the basement through channels built into the legs. Once the cabinets were installed, it was time to visit the marble fabricator and lay out the countertops. The marble for this project was quarried in Vermont. The slab has some nice green veining and the surface is a honed finish which has a matte sheen. We were able to get all of the countertops and backsplashes that we needed from a single slab of marble. With the countertops installed, the renovation was complete. We could not be happier with how this project came out and we got it all done without having to move out of the house. 
You can learn more about this project in videos about the flooring, the molding details, the interior skylight, and several other topics. Thanks very much for watching this video. Now it's time to put this kitchen to work and start thinking about what's next.